Today, we're going to be checking out creepy TikToks that'll make you rethink your reality. Drop a like on the video and subscribe to help us get pushed to recommended. And with all of that being said, let's jump right into it. Basically, we're living in a simulation. It's called simulation theory. That makes the sense. The scientists kind of made this theory that a more advanced civilization could potentially have created a simulation that we're currently living on. Which that kind of makes sense a little bit. if you ask me. However, the, the funny thing is that there's only one way that we could even know and even tell that we are in fact in a simulation. Would you die? And that would be if we could observe some sort of glitch okay. in the matrix. There's been Which tons of glitches. Everybody matrix. sees me walking. I'm walking. Yes, you're walking. Look. This plane. Bro, it's stuck. Is it moving? It's literally just stuck. It's not moving. It's not moving. It's literally just stuck. <laughs> what? But it sounds like it's moving. Yeah. Wow. That's a complete oof. What do you notice? Tell me. Uh. Wow. This week, Polish archaeologists announced that they had discovered a vampire burial. Now, I know what you're thinking. Is it a vampire? No. Is it a burial? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. This unfortunate young woman likely lived around the 17th century and was buried with full accordance to vampire superstition. As wow. you can tell by the agricultural site across her neck, with the presumed intention being that if the deceased were to rise again it to suck the blood of the living, she would be immediately decapitated. Yeah. Just like the old saying goes, why kill when you can overkill? Beyond this, the young woman was also found with a padlock around her toe. This was likely wow. more of a symbolic feature signifying the permanence of death and the banishment from the world of the living. So what is the story here? While archaeologists have found no immediate evidence of foul play, the presence of this one naturally protruding tooth has shed some light on the topic. And as heartbreaking as it is, we could be looking at a tale as old as time. One where the violence and hate from the fearful and superstitious is so often channeled towards those who are different. The time you went to sleep and Talk you woke you. up, you passed into <clears throat> a nearby I think I've seen this. And very similar Dimension, universe. Right? Yeah. But not quite the same. So it's a little bit different and every depending time. depending upon your choices and how you live your life, it's how you wake up and what new one you pop into on the wow. other side. Wouldn't that be crazy? I feel like that'd be different. absolutely nuts. The whole world it's a changes possibility. just a little bit each time you make a decision, one way or another. It's definitely a possibility. Everything changes when you wake up. You definitely think the world's static, because it is when you're definitely awake. Definitely a possibility. You have no fucking idea what's happening while you're asleep. And when you wake up again, you you're have awake. this foggy recollection oh, of the past. Oh, yeah, the night before. And that's what you're going by. You're going by every morning, waking up with a foggy recollection of the past. <laughs> That's wow. what you're doing, and you're you're assuming wow. that nothing's changed and everything's static. And while you were asleep for eight hours, n nothing weird happened. Wow. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You have no idea. You're dreaming. You're having crazy fantasies and shit. That's weird true. stuff is happening. You're fucking That's mermaids. True. You're flying through the air on a uh, on a helicopter. You know you That's don't. You, you, weird things happen when you're dreaming. What is right. all that about? Yeah. We don't even know. We have no idea what that is. That soup of possibilities that's fucking swirling around in between your ears while you're snoring up a storm, and then boom, you wake up. Are you sure those memories are real? Are you sure that this isn't a whole completely new universe you it's live in? Possibility, I guess. You have to watch this video that I'm about to show, show you. Show it to me. And then let's talk about it. Let's do it. I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not. It's real. just his voice. Well. At least in contemporary terms, it is not. That's his voice. What if I were to tell you that I am not even a human being? Wow. Would you believe me? I mean... What is your perception of reality? Know. Is it the ability to capture, process, and make sense of the information our senses receive? If you can see, hear, taste, or smell something, does that make it real? In a sense. Or is it simply the ability to feel. Wow. I would like to welcome you to the era of synthetic reality. Knowing that the technology is out there to be able to do stuff like that, and we would not know. No, we'd have no idea. We'd have zero idea. Makes me wonder what else, what else do we see that is not actually. There's a lot. I'm just like, going to tell you now. What else do they do to distort our reality? Everything. To trick us, to confuse everything. us, to deceive us. Like, I have Possibly so many everything. 
Are the people we even see on TV real? Our president? Some of these people in Hollywood? I don't know. You'll never know. CGI? You'll never know. What do you guys think? So scientists have just discovered giant underground oceans hidden in our planet. Mm. And it could be home to some bizarre alien-like life forms. Like what? You heard me right. Over 500 miles under our Earth's crust, scientists have discovered huge oceans. There's definitely and some living there. we have absolutely no idea Megalodon. what could be living there. And these oceans are so massive, these underground oceans hold three times more water than there is on the surface of the Earth. Wow. The temperature of the water down that deep in the Earth is so high, scientists have no idea what could be lurking down there in the depths of our planet. Scientists have just found an egg of an extinct marine reptile that used to swim the waters of Antarctica 60 to 70 million years ago. Wow. This is what the Don't ancient egg that. looks like, and it's about 12 inches Don't long, that. and it weighs over we 15 that pounds, and it is the first ever fossilized egg found in Antarctica. The shell had deflated since whatever was inside it hatched over 60 million years ago. But when scientists compared it to 250 other reptile eggs, what they found might scare you a little bit. The egg belonged to a mosasaur, which wow. is that huge thing about to eat that great white shark, or it belonged to a plesiosaur, with both being That's extremely crazy. terrifying. This really makes you Dude, think, what else is back? hiding in the ocean that we just haven't discovered yet? Scientists have just made a 3,000 year old mummy speak. And just wait until you hear what, what it sounds like. Scientists were able to mimic Nessie Amun's voice by recreating his mouth and vocal cords with a 3D printer. It allowed them to produce a single sound. Scientists at the University of New York have successfully replicated the vocal tract of a 3,000-year-old mummy. And the reason they did this is because they wanted to see if they could recreate a voice from the past. Hmm. They took precise measurements of the mummy's vocal tract okay. and 3D printed it and were actually able to make this 3,000 year old mummy speak. Pluto may have started hot and contained an ocean. You heard really? me right. Scientists have just discovered some evidence that shows Pluto used to have an ocean. And the craziest part is the ocean would have been under its crust like this. It would have the ice covering with the ocean under it. Hmm. Scientists have also discovered that there are a lot of rogue black holes just zooming around our universe as we speak. That's kind of scary. And this is scary because we can't see black holes. Kind of scary. And scientists have even discovered that planets with large oceans are very common in the Milky Way galaxy. And astronomers estimate that there are about 6 billion Earth-like planets in the Milky Way galaxy alone. Yeah, we're not alone. Also, new observations suggest that the universe might be expanding at a higher rate than we originally thought. We're not alone. And NASA has also proposed a new mission that would see them visiting one of Neptune's moons called Triton. And they expect to find life there. Believe it or not, astronomers have just found the source of all life in the universe. And here it is. I'm not playing a joke on you. I'm being serious. This is the source of all life in the universe. What is that? This is a white dwarf star. And they are the main source of carbon atoms in the Milky Way galaxy. Which if you don't know, carbon is a chemical element that is crucial to all life. 90% of all stars in the universe end up as white dwarf stars when they run out of fuel. And when all these stars run out of fuel, they release a ton of carbon. And carbon is a key element in the formation <laughs> of life. So while everybody's been focused on the Super Bowl halftime and Rihanna's performance, mm -hmm. the big news of her pregnancy, and everybody debating on whether the performance was adequate or not, let's see what we've been missing and being distracted from. Which is what? From the Grammys to the Super Bowl. What? By the way, I think Rihanna did amazing. In a chronological timeline, I'm first point out that there was a ship off the coast of Hawaii that was searching. Now, if you don't know, off the coast of Hawaii is going to be our greatest naval-based Pearl Harbor. I'm sure you all remember that from history class. So yeah, it was alarming, but not too alarming. On to the next. Next was going to be this Chinese air balloon that um, yeah, we, know about we that. found in our airspace. That was pretty China crazy. China claims that it was just an innocent weather balloon that kind of mm -hmm. drifted into U.S. airspace, but Biden decided that we needed to shoot it down and was highly, you know, suspicious of it. This is February 4th, by the way, y'all, all the way up until that. Then we have a big train derailment that happened that was actually crazy. on February 3rd, but it's still burning by February 4th. And this article published on February 8th talks a lot about, you know, the aftermaths of the, how the sky is looking and just they have to controlly release these toxic Chemicals elements into the air. Into the air. Yeah. Because if they don't, it could cause like a worse explosion. 
So with all this smoke and all this toxic gas being released, everybody in that town was pretty much evacuated. Despite all this, all over Ohio for the past couple of weeks, you have been seeing people post videos of UAPs, UFOs. Mm -hmm. Ton of people. That's crazy. That's crazy. What the fuck? <laughs> that last clip was dated February 11th from Ashland, Ohio. February 12th, a U.S. military fighter jet uh, shot down an octangle object over Lake Huron. Of course, they talk about the suspected Chinese balloon that we talked about earlier, but um, Chinese say they don't have anything to do with it. And all these objects are, you know, oblong, weird shapes, unidentified objects. So next, I had, I'm not the best at geography, so I had to go look up where Lake Huron was, right? right? So it's up there, you know, by Canada, but right below, kind of near the same airspace is going to be Ohio. Okay, okay, we're kind of getting somewhere, connecting the pieces, it's getting a little interesting now. So I know this is dated from February 5th, 2022, over a year ago. But basically, a oil tanker that fills Pearl Harbor basically was leaking into a Hawaiian aquifer. Kind of makes it more interesting now that, you know, people were looking around at Pearl Harbor to see if it's like a weakness or whatever. Point all of this out to say that there's a lot going on that we don't know about. And say that the smoke train derailment was meant to cover Ohio skies because there is a lot happening in the airspace. You can see that the government's pointing us towards unidentified objects and aliens. I remember fake and alien invasion conspiracy theory. Yep. You know what America's best at? War propaganda. Whoa, 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 wait, don't give away too much, man. Yeah, uh, okay. I, 100%. I clone, I clone. Right, so There's definitely like clones. Clone right, right. When it comes out, let's get a selfie real quick. That's kind of crazy. You need to hear this crazy conspiracy about iPhones. Have All you ever right. thought about why an iPhone has its name? Some people no. think when Apple says I, it literally means I. iPhones are watching us, listening to us, and seeing everything we're doing. Yeah, of course, Some we know that. Some people have this link to the Illuminati. Don't believe me? What's Siri spelt backwards? This is a conspiracy theory I 100% believe in. So, in 2020, the reason the government put us into a lockdown is so they could change the batteries in the pigeons. It's a little far-fetched. <laughs> a little far-fetched. <laughs> Tad bit far-fetched. Hmm. The weirdest part is my dad has like pigeons as well, and even I've never seen a baby pigeon. Where do they go? There's like a van driving around collecting them all. <laughs> exactly. The Earth might be bigger than we thought. Okay. For years, people have debated over the shape of the Earth, if it is round or flat. Now. This might just all be a conspiracy. It's possible. What if the Earth had more than just seven continents? And Antarctica was just a giant ice wall that kept us from seeing the rest of the continents. What if once you made it past the ice wall, you'll find the 20 continents that are really being hidden from us? And what if there was a map that showed this? There are theories that these continents contain prehistoric animals, aliens, and advanced civilizations. I feel like and we that would the know seven that, continents that we are living in is actually a giant farm or business owned by a small handful of families that make up the filthy rich in the real world or in the other continents that we don't know about. Huh. That'd that be pretty is pretty crazy. Why. Andrew Dawson filmed what he claimed was a giant on top of a mountain in yeah, Jasper and then he's National missing. Park this guy's in Alberta, missing. Canada. In the following days, he tried to get closer to find and film the creature, but in the process claimed to be stopped, harassed, followed, and stalked by the CIA. Yeah. He then stops posting videos for over a month, and when he returns, uploads an update video that is extremely strange, and viewers pointed out that it seemed like it was forced. His next video that he uploads would be his last, because a month and a half later sadly tragedy struck right, he passed That's a brief overview of this strange saga i just uploaded I a full-length video documenting this on my youtube channel did doja cat sell her soul and now she's in the illuminati she recently celebrated her 27th birthday with the illuminati themed party and they say when you sell your soul like the devil takes something from you watch this clip it's weird what the hell is she doing that clip is not from her birthday party, but basically she's making all these weird faces. We know her music is a little symbolic, but just watch this other clip of her looking like she's glitching. She's going into space. It's weird. It's weird. Yo, check out Doja Cat here. Tell me she on time out. Looks like she just... Yo, what happened to her? 
Yeah, that was that weird. Was Celebrities are kind of weird. Like we've seen Cardi B space out in the middle of interviews, but when you're winning an award, that seems like a time when you shouldn't be like weird. spacey. What it's do you guys think about this? Do you think she sold her soul? Pool in the Biltmore Mansion. Okay, if we're gonna make this a series, I wanted to find the scariest conspiracy theory on this iceberg. Skinwalker's Ranch takes the fucking cake. This place is honestly so much more insane than Area 51. I'm using my three minute limit to really explain this entire situation to you guys. So this ranch sprawls over 500 acres. Satellite image to kind of show you guys how huge this ranch. Satellite image to kind of show you guys how huge this ranch is. So the ranch caught media attention in the mid 1990s when the Sherman family purchased the ranch in 1994 and began sharing mind-blowing stories with the world. This place literally had the news in a chokehold. People thought there was a Bermuda Triangle in Utah, even the tea of aliens being highly involved in this area. So once the couple moved into the ranch and got settled in, Terry and Gwen Sherman were coming home one night and they were startled by the sight of a freakishly huge wolf or coyote. Yep. The animal started stalking towards their livestock, which Terry ended up taking out his gun, as rightfully so, and shooting the animal. But to Terry's surprise, the animal kind of just repelled his bullets, which put him in a state of shock. They said that the creature didn't seem hurt and simply just grabbed the cattle in its mouth and wandered back into the bushes. But the most unsettling part of their encounter with this beast was the foul stench that they said it had. It smelled like rotting human flesh. In the weeks and months to follow, Terry and Gwen, along with other visitors to the ranch, began seeing unidentifiable beasts moving throughout the woods. They would let out roars. They would also see strange flashes of lights in the woods, as well as large orange circles and blue spheres floating around in the sky. But the most disturbing thing that took place on this rant was that the animals were dying in the most grotesque ways you could even imagine. Some of the dogs that they had and kept were found incinerated, yes, incinerated, on the property. Cows were found dismembered or drained of all of their blood like this, or even cored out with a hollow body with no organs inside. Like as you probably already realized, the government got involved in this. People and when the government and scientists too. got involved, they were baffled at how these animals had their internals or organs removed. They said that the wounds were made with such a surgical precision that it just had to rule out coyotes or animals. Which then brings us into aliens. I promise you, this one just never stops. So if you're not from America, Utah and Colorado is where a lot of supernatural activity happens. And this is also when people started noticing crop circles were all over Skinwalker Ranch. And this is when people began noticing crop circles in the snow. Yes, you heard that right, snow crop circle. As well as lots more people in neighboring cities started also seeing blue lights flying around the sky. I think Colorado just had blue lights flying around in their sky like a week ago. It's crazy. But anyways, man. back to the scientists. Whenever they would work on the ranch, they would realize that a lot of their equipment was being damaged or broken. By God knows what. Part two. What really happened to Kenny Veach, aka Snakebit McGee? The story of Snakebit McGee is not only very sad, but it's one that's puzzled the likes of the YouTube community and conspiracy theorists for over half a decade now. About 10 years ago, Kenny Veach would post videos of him going into caves and other natural areas onto his YouTube channel called Snakebit McGee. Everything was going well until he found one specific cave. He said the cave was in the shape of an M, and as soon as he went in, his whole body started to vibrate. He got extremely scared, so he ran away. And this is where the story of Kenny Veach takes a turn for the worse. Okay, so what After happened? After telling his community about the M cave, they began to beg him to go back. So Kenny Veach did just that. Except we never saw it. According to his family, he would apparently go out to film the video and never return. Holy and what shit. makes this story even more weird is that Kenny Veach had been searching for caves and places to go in Nevada near Area 51. And it looks like this YouTuber actually found the cave with this mysterious sign inside of it. Like and follow for part 2. What really happened to Snakebit McGee? Part 1 is already up on my page so make sure to go watch that first. So the story to this point seems pretty simple. Kenny Veach had found a weird cave and told his YouTube community about it. And they begged him to go back. And when he went out to find the cave, he never returned. But there are a few things that make this story a bit odd. 
Number one, when he first described the cave, he said it made him vibrate all over and it felt supernatural. Number two is that the area that he was around was right near Area 51. And then last year, this YouTuber found the cave that was shaped like an M. We don't know for sure if it's that, but it looks exactly like what was described. Inside was an old bottle and a sign that said, Warning, Area 51, trespassers will be shot. Yeah, when I, I first saw that, I was personally thinking that's probably the answer to what happened. But unfortunately, his girlfriend at the time has come out since with some different information. She says that he was going through a lot mentally, and when he went out, he didn't even bring his recording equipment with him. And she says that Maybe his he just phone went in was and never found came out. outside of an abandoned mine. So if what she said is true, then what happened to Kenny Veach is actually a lot more sad. Just a reminder to you guys, if you are struggling mentally, tell someone. I promise you someone cares more than you realize. And if you feel like you don't have anybody, DM me. I would love to have a conversation with you. Guys, thank you for watching. As always, have a great day, and don't forget to like and follow. We interrupt some programming on this deprogramming. Who else might be out there? There's been a ton so of much focus uh, Thousands on of UFOs. People. Well, the world is focused on UFOs and airplanes. Something much more sinister is happening behind the scenes. Yep. This distraction comes at a convenient time. New unredacted details. The Epstein case. Stunning new revelations. Bipartisan bills to allow for the public release of sealed grand jury records in the Jeffrey yeah, Epstein Yeah, we'd like case. to know. So the identities of Epstein's associates will be revealed. And there are many other allegations that are still unresolved. Objects that can't be identified. Yeah. Are you still distracted by your phones and airplanes? Are you waking up to see the patterns play out before your eyes? All to stand the loop with the unsealed Epstein files. The Hollywood viewing point is marked with a blood drop. And That's people weird. still think it's a conspiracy. They it's rub really it weird. in our faces literally. Greatest unsolved mysteries from every U.S. state. Okay. Part 42, Montana. Montana. Just outside of the Glacier National Park in Montana, yeah. there's a location where the laws of nature don't really seem to apply. At that location, the gravity is so strange that the trees always grow sideways. That's kind of weird. The there appear so much shorter than they actually are. In addition, if you place a marble at the bottom of a steep hill, it will begin to roll up the hill. And if you drop a rope from the ceiling, it will fall on a curve instead of just straight down. Today, what? the location is a popular tourist attraction, and many people come from all over just to experience its strangeness. I feel like you get some crazy Instagram pictures there, like almost like hanging upside down, kind of like how that girl was in the barn. That's crazy. Wild conspiracy theories that are either totally that is true crazy. or straight up dumb. Part one. Okay. In Southeast Europe, there lies a country named Bosnia. Yes. A group of complex hills can be found there that have come to be known as the Bosnian Pyramids. I was going to say, it looks like now, a pyramid. They appear to look very similar to the well-known pyramids of Egypt. Yes. Now, scientists claim that the hills are just naturally triangular shaped and not man-made at all. I think they're covered in grass. However, some wild theorists have started to claim that the hills are, in fact, man-made with the help of extraterrestrial beings. Or they're pyramids. Pretty wild, right? Covered Comment down below and let me know what you think of like these. That's a big Strangest too. unsolved cases from around the world, England. On April 18th, 1943, four boys were searching for bird's nests when they looked inside a hollowed witch elm. Mm. And what they saw staring back at them was, was a human eye? skull. Oh. Investigators would find a skeleton, a wedding ring, and a shoe. And inside the skull's mouth was a crumpled up piece of taffeta, suggesting she died by suffocation. Oh, wow. And then in 1944, the graffiti began, suggesting that someone knew who she was. And it's been theorized she was killed because she was, she was a spy a witch. and it was wartime or that witches sacrificed yep. her in a ritual. But to this day, no one knows who she is or who killed her. Well, it's kind of crazy. Paul McCartney died in 1966 and was replaced by an imposter, according to this theory. Okay. The gist of the theory is that on November 9th, 1966, I think I've heard after this. an argument during a Beatles recording session, Paul went speeding off in a car and ended up in a car accident resulting in his death. Then the UK agency MI5 had him replaced with a lookalike. Huh. The reason he was replaced was because of fears of mass hysteria and suicide at the news broke. That's Over the fair. years, the Beatles felt bad about the cover-up and decided to leave clues in their album covers and songs. On the famous cover of Abbey Road, where the Beatles are crossing the street, yeah, people came this. up with the theory that it's a funeral procession. Yeah. John dressed in white is the preacher. Ringo dressed in black is the undertaker. George is dressed in blue jeans because he is the grave digger. And Paul's wearing a black suit like a corpse. But he's got he no shoes also on. out of step with the others in barefoot, which is a sign yep. of mourning in Sicily. In his right hand is a cigarette that's pointing towards the ground, and in the 1960s, cigarettes were known as coffin nails in the UK, representing that the real Paul is in a coffin in the ground. 
That is just one of the many that, clues that would be crazy. That have been found since that, the theory that, began that would be in crazy. 1969. That would be Here's crazy. Here's the mystery of the Umbrella Man. Okay, so this is kind of like a part two to the one that I posted yesterday about the Babushka Lady, because they're essentially the same thing, but it's a little bit of a quirk. The date okay. is November 22nd, 1963, the date that JFK was assassinated. JFK's motorcade passes through Dealey Plaza. Standing on this side is the Babushka Lady, like I said yesterday. However, on the other side of the road is a man holding an umbrella. He okay. was given the pseudonym Umbrella Man. It's normal to have an umbrella. Umbrella, not yeah, on a sun. bright and sunny day where it was 70 degrees in Dallas, well, I guess Texas. that's not that hot. And here we go, where things get weird. Right as JFK's motorcade was about to pass the Umbrella Man, opened his umbrella. Some people believe that this is a signal for the first shooter to shoot, and it is presumed that this is Lee Harvey Oswald. And right when JFK passed him, the Umbrella Man panned his umbrella from east to west, which would have been clockwise. And then right after that, the President of the United States was assassinated. Uh, as the motorcade sped away, the, the umbrella, umbrella Man sat down on the sidewalk with another man, and then got up and went to the Texas School Book Depository. What do you think? I don't know. I feel like He's that's a stretch. And I feel I like do it's a little bit of a stretch. Strangest. Unsolved mysteries from each state. Today we have Mississippi. Right. And the story is long with a lot of information, so keep up and pay attention. I'm right this here. This is a picture of Christian Andreacchio. When he was 21 years old on February 26, 2014, he allegedly killed himself. Okay. Allegedly. But I don't believe he actually did. Okay, he so was what from happened? Meridian, Mississippi, and worked on the Magnolia Marine in Vicksburg, Mississippi. The Magnolia Marine is a huge boat and basically a transport system. Okay. He was the manager and made quite a bit of money, at least to buy jet skis, two cars, and have enough money left in his bank account. Damn, He's he was 21 and he was dating a 17 year old what? girl named Whitley Goodman. Uh, Whitley did not have a good home life and she actually had to move in with Christian and his family. I feel like but that's his a family little... really did not like it and they said that she had to leave. So Christian and his good friend Josh got an apartment together and of course he said that Whitley could stay with him. Okay. He also said that Whitley could drive his BMW. Christian's job required him to be on the water 30 days straight at a time. Right before he left I mean, on he's still 22nd, money, so him and okay. Whitley started getting into really big fights and he said that she had to move out and she couldn't drive his car anymore. When he was on okay. the boat, he started getting upsetting calls from his friend. Part two is on its way. This is why you should should never go hiking on Dead Mountain. Be warned, this is one of the most scariest true stories ever told. Okay. And even to this day, 60 years later, remains one of the most unsolved mysteries ever. This is the story of the Dyatlov Pass incident. Okay. The year is 1959 at the height of the Cold War. Nine Soviet university students decided to go hiking in the frozen Why? Siberia. So Why? as they're hiking, families start to get worried because they have not heard from their loved one. They send a team out to search for them and they find their campsite on the height of Dead Mountain. Here's where the conspiracy yeah. theories come. Their bodies, all of them, were found in the most random places on this mountain. Really? And even scarier than that, every single one of these people you see were found undressed. And a couple of them were found with their eyes and tongue cut out. Some Ooh. people believe that these people may have found a military weapon and the Soviets killed them. Some Could people be. believe this was some kind of UFO incident. And some people believe that this was some kind of Yeti attack because all of their stuff on the campground was untouched. Unsolved mysteries. I mean, part I guess one. that's a little bit of a possibility. In 2011, divers were searching the Baltic Sea when they came around this big, huge rock circular formation. Okay. It was said to have stairs and even creepy entranceways. Some believe it's some type of experimental ship from World War II. Strangely, it's made out of magnesium, iron, and titanium. And there's a strange 40 megahertz signal coming from around it. Hmm. Could it be aliens? Could it I be would our say ancient probably. ancestors? Technology? Most likely. Scientists still don't Most know likely, to this day, honestly. and it baffles them. What do you guys think it is? It looks like, like some kind of Star Wars. Two. It just doesn't ship. make sense. This case is weird. Phoebe Hansjuk was found dead in her Melbourne, Australia apartment building in December of 2010 at the bottom of a trash chute. Police said she was intoxicated and decided to climb down? into the chute on the 12th floor to fall 130 feet down to kill herself. But they didn't test the blood that was found in her apartment that she shared with her boyfriend, didn't look into the unexplained bruising on her body, didn't maybe, even question how she could have gone into bro, the maybe chute, he threw her down the chute off the ground with her jeans around her knees and when the scenario was exactly replicated with someone sober it was almost impossible she must so have gotten thrown Phoebe down into a 14 inch opening feet first without leaving any fingerprints on the outside of the chute all while intoxicated this is the he must have thrown her down that britney spears was working for president george bush basically anytime george bush had a scandal britney would do something crazy that would cover it up on January 5th, 2004, President Bush was trying to distance himself from the Valerie Plame scandal. So Brittany had a wild 55-hour marriage to Jason Alexander. April hmm. 11th, 2006, Bush's approval ratings hit an all-time low of 38%, mainly due to the Iraq War. Instead, the news is covering Brittany's visits from child welfare. February 2007, President Bush Remember announced this. the reformation of Al-Qaeda, who he promised to hunt down and eliminate after 9-11. 
enter the famous Britney meltdown. Yeah. If you look into this more, you'll see a few more examples. I think it's just so a coincidence. was she forced to do this by the government? No. Did she work for Bush? I think it's just or a coincidence. Or does this just show America's obsession with pop yes. culture? The third one. Over government issues. We should just trust our president in every decision that he makes, and we should just support that, you know, and um, be faithful in what happens. About this picture. All right, this what about it? If I ever have kids, I'll never let them use the bathroom alone. Okay. A seven-year-old girl and her mom were headed to Target, and she Love was Target. getting some clothes for school. Her mom also wanted to grab some snacks for movie night. Fair. So while her mom went to go grab popcorn and other snacks, she told her daughter to go pick out clothes for school. When her daughter finally finished and picked out the clothes, she went up to her mom and said something strange happened. What? A sad pale lady had came up to her, <laughs> telling her that she wished she could have her own daughter that looked just like her. Oh, the hell no. The daughter was just joking around, laughed it off, and said, let's go. While heading to the register, the daughter shook her mom and said, that's the lady who told me she wanted a daughter just like me pointing at a mannequin the mom laughed thinking the daughter was still being bro sick. you know how kids like have wild imaginations always playing around while at the register the daughter had to go to the bathroom so the mom told her to hurry up it was only a couple hours down by the way while in the bathroom the daughter texted the mom saying the pale ladies in here who wanted a daughter she's the mom watching trying her to get in a rush back home to her other kids said hurry up we have to go stop playing around 10 minutes later and the daughter never came out the mother who was waiting outside the bathroom at this time she never came out out? to see what the heck is going on the daughter was nowhere to be found she even checked the stalls to see if her daughter was hiding standing on a toilet or something bro in one of the stalls she found her daughter's cell phone on the floor by the way if you made it this far in the video comment down below your favorite fruit mine is mangoes when she checked her phone this was the last image found in it police still to this day have no explanation on what happened to that little girl so you're telling me that that girl was literally never found they never found her she just vanished, disappeared. The mother was too busy to go into the bathroom with her daughter or stand at the door. And now the kid's gone. Yeah, I'm never walking at night like this in the rain. This video is too scary. Do not watch if you have extreme anxiety. Well, show me and I'll let you know if I get actually scared or not. Okay. Gonna stretch on before you go for your late night jog, which I don't understand, but that's just me. Okay. Starting your walk. Seems like a little light jog. <laughs> Bro, where do they come from? Bro. Where the hell did they go? Ah. <sighs> He just came back again. Oh, bro. Hell no. Hell no. Count me. Is he like hiding behind her or something? Bro. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. This is when I go inside, lock the doors, and never come out again. Whispering in her ear, bro? Bro, he's gotta still be following her. Oh, I wouldn't wait for the elevator. I would've ran up the stairs. Cause what if he gets in the elevator with you? Bro, I'm freaking out right now. safe. She's good. She is good. She is good. She's good. She's good. Okay. Bro. I'm hitting the ground floor again. Bro, this video is like tripping me out right now. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Bro, I don't 
know what she was waiting for. So you had Buddy follow you from down all the way at the street, all the way into your complex. You went through the elevator. He somehow was able to make it to the eighth floor from the ground floor before you made it upstairs and then followed you to your house. Bro, I would have just tried to find people. I wouldn't have even went home because now he knows where you live. This video is not for you if you get scared easily. I don't. The so. Bible says that there's certain fallen angels that got chained up and imprisoned under the earth. Okay. Person claims to have gotten an audio recording of one of those angels under the earth. Check well, let's this hear out. it. Chains? Bro, that's insane. If you want to learn more about fallen angels and subscribe and follow for more, and go watch the video I pinned in the comments. That's actually you insane. The story of the adult woman who was pretending to be a child in order to get adopted. I actually well, did hear about this. So much crazier than that. In 2010, the Barnett family adopted Natalia Grace, a six-year-old girl from Ukraine. So they but thought. After the adoption, the family claimed that Natalia wasn't who she said she was. She couldn't speak any Ukrainian, which the family thought was weird. But a little she bit. was also showing signs of being post-puberty, meaning she probably wasn't six years old. So the parents got a bone density test done on her, and the doctor said that she was at least 14, if not older. Oh, shit. And on top of that, her behavior was starting to become menacing. She would stand over the parents' beds at night, saying she was just waiting for the right time. And she for what? violence against the three other sons. One time, she even tried to poison the mother. But what do the parents do? They get her age legally changed to 22 years old, rent her an apartment, and leave her in it by herself. They thought they were escaping a murderer, but many believe that they abandoned a disabled child. There's so many twists and turns to this story, and I don't oh, hold okay. dive on my podcast this week. Okay, yeah. check this out. So you're telling me that I I, I kind of knew and are familiar with the story. She pretended to be sick. She wasn't sick. She was 14, supposedly. She would stand over the parents. Listen, if I have kids, which I don't currently, if I have kids and they're standing over me while I'm sleeping, and I respond with like, hey, why are you watching me sleep? It's really weird. First, I'm going to be really scared. Second, I'm going to be like, uh, what are you doing right now? Why, why are you standing over my bed while I sleep? And you say you're waiting for the right time. The right time for what? What What are you possibly waiting for? What are you waiting for? You waiting for ass whooping? Because that's what you're about to get. Like, I'm not even... Listen, if I wake up and someone's standing over, standing over me, bro, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. And you try to poison the mother. The lady who saved you. I'm good. I'm good. You're catching it. That's it. Home with the lights out. Do not look outside your window. Okay. Turn on your lights before you look through any window. Do not leave your okay. home if you see a figure outside. Even if he is turned Bro, her away, pupils are do not huge. look at him. Lock all doors and windows before turning off all lights inside your residence. Her pupils Hide are huge. Hide in a small space and call authorities. Do not move from hiding unless you hear an unfamiliar voice. If you do hear a familiar voice coming from inside Bro, your these are home, so creepy. do not move. He is inside. He is inside. These are he so creepy. The Muffin Man was actually a serial killer. He was indeed. The Muffin Man is probably one of the most well-known nursery rhymes. Yep. But did you know it was based on a real story? Yes, I a did. A real dark story. In the 1800s, lure a man kids by in the pastries. name of Frederick Thomas Linwood would wait in alleyways to kidnap and kill kids, yep. luring them in with muffins. Yep. The song was later created to spread yeah, awareness to keep kids, the kids uh, away from keep him. them safe. Warning yep. them about the Muffin Man, who was a danger on Drury Lane, even though he was the first documented serial killer in the world. Everyone still teaches the song to their kids because not a lot of people know that the Muffin Man was. Creamy images caught in the background of photos. Yes, you see the whole look. Look right there. Yeah, literally during a wedding, there's people outside doing some kind of like weird ritual. I'm pretty sure like half these people were dead. Yeah, he was he was dead, and he's somehow still in the picture. If you see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide. Uh, yeah. Someone's about to sneak hey, up. What? Is my laptop charger up there? I don't know. Did you check? It's the worst. Literally the worst. What's down there? What 
Okay, it was her. She's gonna see something in the window. I'm calling it. She's gonna look up and see something in the window. Right? Or behind her or something. Gotta be, right? Oh. I don't see anything. Oh, shit. Maddie, what the fuck? Imagine that. Maddie! It's not funny! That is some serious scary movie I stuff. I got it. Maddie! Maddie! And the girl's gonna be behind her. Did you find it? Oh, bro. Bro. And they're gone. Oh, no, they're still there. <laughs> Bro, she's like looking into a mirror. She's like looking into a mirror into kind of like some other timeline or something. Kraken actually exists? No yes. sea creature was as horrifying as the Kraken. For sure. This huge creature with many arms so I don't mess could with the reach ocean. as high as the top of the sailing sheep's mast, wrapping their arms around the whole ride to crush it before turning it upside down for good. What's really bizarre about the Kraken stories is that of all the sea monster tales that we've heard, this one has evidence based on real witnesses. Yep. Because scientists in July 2012 filmed the first video of a live giant squid swimming nearly 2,000 feet below the surface of the Pacific Ocean. And they're the only getting bigger. It was 55 meters long and was said to be a baby version of what it could grow up to be. So is it so hard to accept that? No. Now that I've seen it, I can't unsee it. So the other day, a Reddit user oh, posted this photo to Reddit. No. It's of his apartment at night. Yeah, he had look. been complaining of hearing rustling noises in his apartment over oh, the last couple no, nights. Oh, fuck no, bro. Many users thought they could kind of see something in this Yeah, area look at the face. Season, but I couldn't, so I looked at the Brighton version. This is the photo Brighton. Yeah, I'm good. I know good. what you're going to say. Yes, it does look like Keanu Reeves, but look yeah, at a how bit. tall he is compared to the fridge. Yeah, he's almost all but the way up at the top. so much worse. This is a video he took of his apartment at night where you can see something happen to the Standing, light in the yeah. kitchen. Yeah, it gets blurred because someone's but walking let's in front of the it. Brighton version. I'm moving out. I'm moving out. I am moving out. Yes, it's terrifying. But is it a ghost? Uh... I think so personally. Listen, I live in an apartment. If that were to happen, I'm gone. I'm out. Chris is moving out. I'm moving out. I'm not even dealing with it. I'm not even coming close to dealing with it. I'm gone. Bro, these claymation dolls, I find like claymation dolls and like old school dolls terrifying. I know they might not be scary, but they just, they got that weird vibe to them. I just don't, I just don't mess with it. I just don't mess with it. It's not for me. No. No. I'm not doing the dolls. Especially with the cutout eyes. So I'm glad my bed is to the back of the windows. Whatever you do, do not go near the woman dancing the in dancing Serbia. The dancing lady in Serbia, She's man. She's seen dancing in a dress in the yep. middle of the night on a street. And People if she sees you, if you, she wants to her, kill you. She may attack you. Yep. Now, there hasn't been any actual reports of her hurting anybody. But so she does turn around and chase you. This could be a hoax or a prank, but you guys have to see these videos because they're creepy. Yes, yeah, if, if you, like, talk to her or try and get her attention, she'll turn around, and most of the time she's carrying some kind of, like, knife or something, and she'll literally try and kill you. 
Bro, imagine looking out your window. You're getting ready to go to bed. And all of a sudden, you just see this lady jumping around in the middle of the street. No. 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 Not gonna happen. Yeah, see? And then she starts attacking. So those TikToks were actually pretty insane. Hopefully you guys did go and enjoy today's video, and if you did, don't forget to smack a like, and I'd be greatly appreciate it. Comment your thoughts of what you think about the Kraken, and if you think the Serbian dancing lady is actually real, and if she would actually go as far as unaliving people. As I said before, drop a like on the video and subscribe for more, and with all of that being said, my name is Chris, and of course, I will catch you guys in the next one.